another day another build today we're gonna pull out this 2005 y zinger 250 uh she is pretty beat it's got pretty low hours ever since it was brand new guy didn't ride it really hard uh like the stock fork guards are about a snap and half you can see this one already did it's been sitting in the elements for a while uh yeah all stock except for fmf pipe on it and it was raced up until well it was raced in 2012 and then the guy bought it and it's been sitting ever since so carb needs a bit of cleaning needs a bit of love a little bit of attention plastics or shot we can go around a couple other bikes we've got 2011 rmz 250 we got a YZ125 and then a 2019 YZ250 FX. I traded her for the YZ250X, the 2017 that I had. But now I'm going to trade it for a 2019 YZ250X. So if you do the math, I'm technically upgrading two years with a lot more mods on a YZ250X for free. So I'm fine with it. Came with a lot of extra plastics and stuff. But let's pull out this YZ. I can give you guys a little walk around on it. And we'll start stripping her down and cleaning her up. Because she is she is pretty dirty right now. Alrighty, boys and girls. Here she is. She is a 2005 YZ250. Pretty clean bike. For its age. Pipe is definitely rusted just from sitting for so long we'll clean that up with the scotch bright motor doesn't look too bad at all i think he said the motor kid was a like a factory racer or something like that i'm not really sure but he had some good mechanics that did the work she's gonna need a couple spokes in the rear wheel you can see but they've all got the nipple still on them so we can probably just throw a new spoke in there and call it a day then it's also going to need a new foot peg on this side which should be no biggie because i'll probably have some uh <coughs> new plastics and that's about it new fork seals i'll go ahead and do those i don't do them very often and why not just do some fork seals for fun kicks and giggles this will probably be like a three-part series today i'm just gonna tear the bike down uh and clean it up you can see frame is nice and crusty everything's old missing subframe bolts then the usual but yeah <clears throat> we'll pull these hand guards off i don't really use wrap rounds i like flag style so yeah, let's uh, get to tearing her apart. Alrighty guys, so we got it kind of torn down. Not a bunch, but enough to get to some of the dirt that we wouldn't have earlier. Like this stuff right here, all that junk. Wheels are super crusty. 
It doesn't want to start up today for some reason. Not exactly sure why, but this thing. It's got a lot of resistance. Maybe spark plugs on huh? because it used to smoke like crazy. So I'll, I'll check all that stuff out. Let's check the coolant and see what we're running in here. Probably not. No, topped off. Thank you. Oh, it's not too bad of a bike. <coughs> Let's get to washing it though. Got a couple other bikes I need to wash, like the 19250FX and maybe the four wheeler as well because my brother doesn't take care of it. So I'm gonna throw a. Yeah, we need a new air filter. It's starting to rip. I already got that ordered though. So I'll just throw a, just a regular plastic bag over that air filter. Shouldn't be too worried about water getting inside it anyways because the whole bike's going to take it apart. So yeah, let's get to it. What is up, lady boys? Back at it with the YZ250 today. Uh, what do we have? We got a couple new parts, and I got it running a lot better. This air screw was way too, too screwed in, I guess. I don't know how to explain it, but it was not good for the motor, I guess. <clears throat> so she didn't want to idle. I think somebody thought that that was the idle screw. Bike's pretty solid. Let me know in the comments. You can see all these spokes that are missing here. I don't even think it's worth throwing new spokes in. Let's go over some of the new parts we got. Forks leak. So I got front fork seal kit uh, to do it. I kind of sold all my fork stuff to my buddy, but I got new ones. I got a seal bullet or yeah, that's what it's called. <clears throat> you have to get the special fork tool for it got a seal driver that way i don't screw them up because i do a lot of yz fork seals here we got brand new polysport restyle kit and then we also got a new air filter right here uh got a new bike 2020 yz250x uh thing is super clean this is gonna be the one i keep i think I think I'll keep this one. It's pretty nice. YZ with blue wheels. Tons of tons of parts on this thing. I had a different seat on it. I just threw the stock one off of this one. Well, I had the... Pretty much, let me explain. This bike, this seat came off of my 2017 250X. And right before I traded that one for another bike, I swapped seats with this one. So this one had that seat, so now I put that seat on that bike. So that seat's been on like four different bikes. I've got this Guts Racing one, America flag colored. But what we're gonna do with this thing right now is uh, change out, you have to change out the air box. You can see subframe isn't even bolted in. I have to clean up the carburetor a little today. But we're gonna put the new plastics on it. I've got new graphics right here.
alrighty guys. So we're kind of finished on it. Not 100%. Still got to do forks and wheels and tires and inner tubes and all of that stuff. I'm going to put new grips on it. These are destroyed. Take off these bark busters. Other than that, bike turned out sweet. Let me know in the comments if I should switch out this pro circuit pipe for an FMF one. I have one laying around. <laughs> but yeah, it looks pretty good. I'm gonna get some thumbnail photos of it, post it up in a few days. Just posted the YZ250F video about 30 minutes ago. But yeah, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and peace.